How to use a sketch tool in SOLIDWORKS. Well, first of all, we've got to get an image. So I'm just going to go to the internet here and pick up uh, a well-known image here. View the image. Uh, important to see what size it is first. So I've highlighted it here, what size it is. I know it's going to be fairly small. Uh, so I'll copy that image. When I've the image copied, I open up uh, PowerPoint, paste in the image to PowerPoint. You can see the background is still in with the image here. So I want to get rid of that. So by double clicking on the background, go to color, go to set transparent color, click the background now and you can see it is actually gone. I want to save that image and save that image as a PNG file. In this instance, it is actually a PNG file and I can rename the image to whatever I want here. But it's very important that it's saved as a PNG file. Then open SOLIDWORKS, go to File, go to New, open a part. And I'm going to draw this on the front plane. So go to Sketch on the front plane. Then go to File up here where Tools is. Go down to Tools, uh, Sketch Tools. And then at the very bottom of Sketch Tools, you'll see Insert Picture. Insert Sketch. So here we've got our image taken in. It's blacked out. So I'm going to go to From File. Then this is the scaling bar here, so I'm going to move that to roughly where the extremities of the item is. You can see the level symbol is in as well, and it's just a smart dimension to put in here. I'm going to change that size to 200, depending on what you want to use this for. You can decide on a size yourself. And it's really useful, the scaling tool, because it gives you an idea of what size you want to have the thing where you want to bring it in. So then I'm going to go to Splane on the sketch. And I'm going to draw the outline of this starting. I can start anywhere really, but I'm picking the right hand side here to sketch that curve on its own. I could use uh, the arc tool as well if I wanted. Stop it here and then I go on to spline again. And if you're draw drawing something pretty intricate, it could be useful to zoom it in and look closely at what it is that you're drawing. And the more points you have, the more accurate it will be. If you go off with a point, it's no big deal. Don't worry too much about that. I'll do this purposely a little later. And you can see I've gone off here, but I'm just going to proceed to close the sketch. Very important to make sure that you've closed all the, there's no open contours in this. So I double click on that and I can, you can see the symbols have come up either side of it. So I can move it left or right or I can pull it in or out. And that's what I'm doing. And sometimes, as you'll see here, it uh, can be a little contrary to use, but uh, perseverance and you will get the point to wherever it is that you want it. That leaves me now with just a leaf to do, so I'm going to use a spline tool again and drop along that. Like I said, depending on the image that you're drawing, you, you can use any of the sketch tools really to draw, but it must be closed contours, that's the important part. And if I look at this here, I've gone somewhat inside here, but I'm not terribly worried because I'm going to close that contour there and complete the spline in the lower half, and then I can move the point and you'll see that happen here. Zoom it in and see where it's gone. Then, it's only a case of completing that sketch, going to features, doing whatever you want to do with the features. I'm going to extrude it, but you could extrude it, you could fill it, you could do whatever you want with it then and that. And really useful too. So, just using the sketch tool and make sure that you have the uh, SolidWorks uh, part opened because the won't show if it isn't opened up in the sketch part. That's it.